Hello, my technician is over here working on lighting and sound. So welcome on this beautiful Thursday afternoon. We're going to get going live with Instagram in a moment. However, let me just do a little sound check and make sure we have lots of sound. You're here with Tosca Reno. You're probably recognizing the apron now the Eat Clean Diet, and uh, for some reason, Thursday has been a day where it's been just a teeny bit of a struggle to keep our uh, sanity. <laughs> Not quite sure why. We're quite certain there's going to be a cocktail involved when all this is over. However, welcome to my kitchen. Um, thank you so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to join me. I'm going to make this fun and informative. I don't think it's going to be a 30-minute lesson. Regardless, it will be fun. So uh, you're here listening with me, Tosca Reno, and um, I am the author and founder of the Eat Clean Diet series. Um, I'm having a wild time, just like all of you in quarantine, uh, making lots of experimental things in the, um, uh, in the kitchen. And I'm going to do two things right now. Ask you to tell me where you're listening from. Uh, so if you could just do, uh, you know, a heart, send me lots of hearts and say you're listening from XYZ in the world. So far, we've been having listeners from all over the globe. Also, I'd like to give you, give me a little sound check. Tell me if you can hear me. Okay, very important. And then the other thing I'd love for you to do is if you're listening on the replay, just hit hashtag replay and tell me that's what you're doing. Um, and if you think there's somebody who might enjoy listening to how to make overnight oats, because that's what we're doing here. Um, then please go ahead and tag them in the comments. So I'm going to be right back. Have a quick look. I just have to grab the hot water and shut the door because it's too loud. Hold tight. All right, you'll hear me bang in the door. And ta-da! Uh, <laughs> I needed some hot water, which I've already boiled. So I am going to be making Swiss Bircher muesli. And this really is the, the original overnight oats recipe. If you're just tuning in right now, you're here with me, Tosca Reno. And let me also just have a quick look and see how are we doing for sound? Yay, Sherry, she made it. She's here. And Kirsten and Dolly, fantastic. And hi, Instagram, thank you so much. I'm actually streaming live to both Instagram and Facebook, so I'm going to give you equal love. Don't forget to send your hearts and questions. So. Overnight oats has become quite a sensation recently, but I have to say the original recipe started years ago uh, by a Dr. Bircher, and he decided to do that thing that traditional peoples always did with their grains, which is soak the oats, soak the grains, soak them overnight. So how that works is you're obviously going to take a bowl, and for this particular recipe, the Bircher muesli, I want to throw in two cups of oats, two cups of oats. These are gluten-free, not quick cooking, rolled oats, all right? Um, dump them into the bowl, and then what we have is just four cups of boiling water. Now, for the purpose of this recipe, because we're doing this real time, and I haven't really had time to soak the oats, we're going to mix the oats with the water, and let that hot water get into those oats. Why it's important to soak grains, nuts, and seeds is because, I'm just gonna move that to the side, try to keep my workspace clean. Um, why it's important to soak those oats is because you want to release all the nutrients from the grains, soften them up, start the pre-digestion process. Um, oats are excellent for your tummy if you're having any kinds of issues, especially if you're eating gluten-free oats, which I always work with, gluten-free oats. Uh, and they fill your belly also. There's something in the oats that help to fill up the digestive tract and keep you full longer. Now, for the purposes of this recipe, because we're going to have to make a, uh, a, a television version, <laughs> and I haven't soaked the oats, um, I'm going to wet the mixture a bit more with another uh, traditional food, which is called kefir. Kefir is similar to yogurt, but has different bacteria in it. And uh, this is an amazing, amazing food for the tummy. You may find during these uh, particularly stressful times that we're having right now, 
that, excuse me, while I put that to the side, that your tummy is really struggling. And kefir has a certain kind of friendly bacteria in it that helps to provide a lot of nutrients to the gut, easy to digest, not hard on the tummy, and it also makes you feel good. Kefir is the Turkish word for feel good. So when you eat kefir, you feel good. In fact, years ago, and I'm talking about ancient peoples, used to protect their kefir recipe so fiercely, they would not let anyone share that recipe anywhere, and on pain of death. So you couldn't say how your kefir was made. Some kefir grains are actually hundreds and hundreds of years old. But the secret got out, and so we all know that kefir is a blessing for your tummy. So, so far we've got a couple of ingredients in the bowl. We're mixing up oats, hot water, and lovely kefir. All right, so part of the birch or muesli recipe also involves, I'm just gonna set that aside here, uh, getting loads of fiber into the belly. So how we're going to do that is with some apples. Now, because of what's been happening with uh, the virus, and because you never know where your fruit and vegetables have been when you bring them home from the produce store, what you really need to do is you need to wash these. I have pre-washed my vegetables and my apples, because these aren't vegetables, <laughs> in apple cider vinegar and water. So I'm safe to eat the skin. That is an important part of this recipe, is to eat the skin of the apple. We're going to grate these. But here's what I want to say about when you're going to eat the skin of an apple. You want to have an organic apple. And the reason for that is because, unfortunately, the way that things are grown these days, including apples, many herbicides, pesticides, and toxins are used, which rest in or lodge in the skin. So if you're ever going to use a fruit or a vegetable where you're absolutely going to eat the skin, you need to make sure that you have an organic fruit or vegetable. In this case, we're gonna grate the apple with the skin, the edible skin that has no toxins in it, because organic apples, fruits of all kinds tend to generally be, let me just throw that over there. I'm gonna grate this whole apple, tend to generally be cleaner for the system. And so this is really important at a time right now when we're asking a lot of our immune system. Uh, the immune system needs to be clean and well supported, but it isn't. For the most part, we have a situation at hand called the pits. What's the pits? <laughs> it sounds pretty bad, right? The pits is an acronym for nutrition, infection, toxins, trauma, stress, and lack of sleep. And when all of those things are happening to us, the immune system really, really struggles to do its job. It's not that we can boost the immune system so much, it's that what we can do is support it. And we support it by giving it all these incredible nutrients. And we try to, as much as we can, not get the heavy metals in our system, not get the pesticides, not get the genetically modified organisms in our body. You just don't want that. It's really hard on your system. Okay, so we've got one apple. We use any apple. I like a firm one here. This is a, an organic Spartan apple. And of course, things are going to get messy in here. So we put that in, peel and all, into the camera. Just nicely get the way with grated carrot. And so now we're adding the, the pectin or fiber of the apple, which is brilliant. Um, it looks like one apple's going to do it. Oh, bring back the cutting board. Need that for a second. Now I'm going to measure in some incredible seeds that are just, as far as I'm concerned, it's just critical to your diet to have these in everything. And uh, not that I put them in everything, but in muesli particularly, this is incredible. So we're gonna put in some golden flax seeds. I've got a quarter cup here. I'll give you a little look-see in a second as we get the camera closer. Quarter cup, quarter cup for the Instagrammers, here we go. And we throw that in. And an incredible thing is gonna to start to happen with these seeds. We've got a lot of liquid in there. We've got the kefir, we've got the hot water, and we are going to get the juices going and soaking into, and here I don't think I wanna use a quarter cup, it's quite a bit, but I've got some chia seeds, so I'm using probably about um, two or three tablespoons here. And I'm just gonna sprinkle that in. And what happens is these seeds start to absorb liquid. 
from the mixture. Uh, and then they begin to fatten up, soaking up the liquid, softening. And as that happens, it's easier for you to get the nutrition out of those particular seeds. Okay, so the other thing I wanna add is some ground cinnamon uh, somewhere here. Oh yes, I'm going to throw in a whole teaspoon. It seems like a lot, but the ground cinnamon is amazing, especially Ceylon cinnamon for managing blood sugar. So here's what that looks like for you. A little bit of ground cinnamon, smells amazing, adds a delicious flavor but it's doing that incredible thing of nourishing and managing your blood sugar and your organs are really going to like that. So we're going to mix that up in a second too. Whoops. We just have to, sometimes that happens with the, uh, with the uh, vanilla. I'm going to put a little bit of sugar free, high quality vanilla in again, just for a little hit of flavor. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. It's an optional ingredient, um, but a teaspoon will do it. And we're going to mix that up. It's starting to look lovely. This is breakfast, really. And once you've got this mixture made up, it's going to be breakfast for a couple of days if you're on your own or several servings, right? Okay, this is, let's have a smell. Yes, it's smelling. It's smelling good. It's making me happy. Now, if you'd like to add um, a little bit of maple syrup, make sure you're always choosing best quality maple syrup. Dark is best grade A, there are many different kinds, and um, sometimes it will have a little bit of an opaque look to it. That means that all the goodness stays has stayed in the maple syrup. If you're doing the strike sugar plan, don't put the maple syrup in. But right now I'm gonna throw just a little bit in there because we're in maple syrup season. Um, finally, the last ingredient, and again, this is optional, are dates. Now I add the dates because again, super fibrous food for your tummy. So anybody who's having trouble with digestion or has lazy bowels or anything like that, really honestly dates are your friend. So how I normally do this is I have kitchen scissors and I'm just gonna, you know, snip with my scissors. These are pitted dates, highly fibrous. There's a story that goes that when the Romans were busy establishing the Roman Empire, the soldiers lived basically only on flaxseed and dates. Can you imagine? So they would have a pocket full of flaxseed that they would chew on, and they would have dates, which they would chew on, and uh, that was their nutrition. And those soldiers were in fierce form. They fought, they were lean, Maybe they were hungry too, I don't know, but you can see that the Roman Empire is pretty successful. So if it works for the Roman Empire and their soldiers, it's probably gonna work pretty well for you too. So just eyeball, I'm gonna put one more in. Um, I might have put in a half cup of, we'll leave, we'll, okay, we'll not throw that one in. And a half cup of dates, which I've snipped. You can use uh, sultana raisins if you like, or dried cherries. In Michigan, you have beautiful dried cherries. And here's what the muesli mixture looks like. Uh, right now it's at room temperature or slightly warmer. Do you see that? Good. Um, but here's the trick. When you transfer this into your mason jars or whatever container you're going to store it in, in, the, in the long term, I'm going to caution you to do something for me, something that probably goes a little bit against your brain, and that is you're not going to put it in the fridge. You're going to put it in a mason jar, you're going to store it, seal it tight, cover it tight, and you're going to leave it on your counter. Overnight oats need some time to get a little bit, and I'm not going to say funky, like smell funky, but you want the wild organisms in the air to get into the mixture and help do that pre-digestion. It's a little bit like how sourdough works, where there are organisms in the air that help to digest the flour. Well, that's what's gonna happen in this incredible mixture. And you're gonna get the benefit of those that work because those little organisms are actually pre-digesting pre the oats. And uh, that is going to be much, much better for your tummy. So resist the temptation to put them in the refrigerator. Let them be overnight on the counter at least one night, maybe two. And then you can store it in the refrigerator and it will keep for a long time. 
Remember, you've inoculated this mixture with living organisms from the, from the kefir already. So there's already some good stuff happening in there. And you're gonna get the wild organisms from the air. So this is Swiss Bircher Muesli, the original overnight oats, something incredible for your digestive system, for your nutrition, for your immune system. It makes you feel good. It, it's such a practical dish to make. You can make enough to last you a whole week. Figure out about a cup of um, mixture per serving for anyone who's planning on eating it, and you're good to go. So this mixture is going to last me a while. In closing, I want to thank you very much for always showing up for these lives. I've been on a steep learning curve. Some days the, um, <laughs> the streaming is better than others, um, but we're getting the hang of it. And thankfully I have helpful technicians over here, someone who's also filming for me, my daughter Kelsey. I appreciate her very much, just like I appreciate all of you. I think when we know how to use traditional foods, foods that are in our pantry, and we have the confidence that we will survive anything that's thrown at us in life, whether it's a pandemic, a virus, any other kind of crisis, like, you know, there are, you name them, there can be many, as I have experienced myself, knowing that you have control over something like what's happening in your kitchen and what's happening in your body is a beautiful thing. So I wish you an incredible Thursday. Feed your soul, feed your belly, Feed your family, give them love, and know that together we are going to ride this out and we're going to be okay. Remember too, my passion is your wellness. I'll see you again. Don't forget to check in with me tomorrow. I've got a 9.30 live with kettlebells. Woohoo! Hope you're ready for that. All right. Yay for Swiss Bircher Muesli. Over and out. Bye.